is instant miracles. Look at what is happening here. Your grace shines on me. Your grace, your grace, I'm nothing without you. Just look at what is happening. Just look your at what is happening. of poverty taking place. Just look at this. People of God, we've actually run short of cameras. There's deliverance all over their house. Everywhere you look is deliverance taking place. Listen, the demons will just manifest and they will go. We don't close this service with one person having a demon. Yes. It's all right. Okay, those of you with critical pain, whether you are still in this queue, I'm praying for you now before even touching you. I command that pain, that sickness to leave you. All of you in this queue, be healed. Be healed. Be healed. I command you to be healed. Be healed. Watch it, watch it, watch it, please. Be healed. Just look at Be healed. Happened. You are healed. Listen to what I'm telling you. You are healed. Take what I'm saying. You are healed. 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 Now check it. The sickness is gone. Check it. You just come out for your testimony. You are free. You are free. Put your hands together for Jesus. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. You are free. You are free. Celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate your people. This is the woman that we've just seen who had cartons and cartons and cartons of medication. And she said without taking any of those, she, she couldn't sleep. Now she immediately, you see, ah, this Jesus is just something else. Come on, somebody. Come on, him. somebody. Come on, somebody. Put your hands together for Jesus. Shines on me. Your grace shines on me. Shines on me. Shines on me. Praise shines on me. Shines on me. It's your grace. It's your grace. Shines on me. Shines on. Like this for some time now but if even if we don't pray for him these are people that you look at and you can see not just it's not just an issue of him sitting but life even just by looking at him you can see even the eyes that the man is in pain and if you don't pray for him now you can't be sure whether he can come back again on Sunday Sunday might be too far so these are conditions that we have to address now and then release him this is critical. Man of God, just like you are saying, this man was diagnosed of leukemia, cancer of the blood. Five years, this is a very long time. And also he's got kidney failure and is due for an operation, man of God. So exactly like you are saying, that's the condition of the man. Okay, mama, can I, can I pray for him? I'm also being advised by the doctors that he goes for blood transfusion every two weeks. Every two weeks? Every two weeks. He has to be getting blood? Yes, man of God. Who is, who is he to you? He's your brother. He's my brother, yes. Sir, what I bring you from Jesus is life. Yes. Life into your body. 
life into your system, life into your blood, life into your bones, your liver, your kidney, every part of you. When last did he eat? Because this man is, is weak. It's four days now. Four days eat. without eating anything. Without eating anything. You see, so even if I'm to pray for him now, strength might come back immediately, which is divine. But there's need for food. There's need for food so that he can gain maximum strength. Say, I bring you life in Jesus' name into your system. Be healed. Receive strength from heaven. Supply, blood supply from heaven. Look at me, say. Look at me. Look at me. Life. Jesus loves you, okay? He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Okay, stretch your legs. Help us, please. Just look at what is happening here. Okay. This has never happened in a very long right. time. Ancient of days. Let's see. Let's see because we want Just to see how he improves. How how far he can walk. Just look the at the amount this. of energy. Because this is four days. On top of this, on top of what is happening, four days. The man is also very, very hungry. So this is divine energy. Oh, come on, somebody. Now, now, see, Mama is crying here. These are the people bringing the sick. You always have to pay attention to those ones that are surrounding the person. Because the person might be in a shock, but the people that bring the person, they know the intensity. Okay, so I want you to give him a chair. Let's have some food, please. I want him to eat. Let's see what happens. How he's going to run after that. Let's have some drinks. Come on, South Africa. Say. Come on, South Africa. You can do Pencha for Jesus. Just look at this. This is life restored. This is life restored. This is life restored. As old as you are. As old as you are. You remain the same. You have an awesome miracle. This man is coming all the way from Cameroon and he brought his son. This boy has never spoken for about for eight years since birth. He has never ever spoken. He doesn't go to a normal school. This man, his father, watches Christ TV every day. When he heard about this event, he flew all the way from Cameroon to have the son healed. And people of God, for the first time, for the first time, this boy here pronounced daddy in this house after the man of God had prayed for him. First time, you can hear him. Daddy. Come on, somebody. You mean he hasn't, he hasn't been doing this? You, you wanted to come to Harare? You were planning I was to come to Friday. Friday. Uh -huh. I came here alone on Friday on the opening, and I decided to bring him here today for prayers. While we're praying, I asked him, say that he repeated. That I said I should locate the microphone. And you were, and you were shocked? I was shocked. I said, let me locate the pastor. <laughs> I put this down the queue. <laughs> First time, people of God. Well, ah, you can do better. You can do better. Jesus! My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Men this is God, an awesome God. Men of God, we have a shocking case here. This lady has been finding doves falling from the sky. They die at the same spot from May 2012. Let the sister come. If, if she, okay, let her come. Let her come. From May 2012 until now, 
Doves have been falling. On Thursday, she picked up... Doves. Doves. Okay, you mean those birds? Yes. Birds. The doves. Birds. Okay. Yes. Falling from the falling sky. Falling from the sky. Uh-huh. They die at the same spot. On Thursday, she picked up the 20th, the 20th dove. Every time that happens, she falls sick. She actually, Birds, doves falling, and then they die on the spot, and they keep on falling on the same spot. Exactly the same spot. So she has seen 20 of those. 20 of those today. And every time a dove falls, it dies, and then she gets sick. She gets sick. What is this? These are the tablets that she's taking, men of God. Because of the... I was diagnosed after 20, after the first one fall. So I'm on diabetes and I have an hypertensive patient now since that May 2012. And this is the 20th and peripheral neuropathy. And this is the 20th one which I picked up on Thursday morning, which I picked child before coming here on Thursday morning. On Thursday morning. Yes. So, so they are, this is the 20th one. Is it the same place or? Same if place you... from the gate before the house, next to the house, the same place. Can you believe this? Look at the picture. Just look at the picture. This is number 20 bed. It just falls in front of her on the same spot every time. And when this happens, she has to get sick. How can you explain this? Men of God, some of them actually fall whilst she's watching. As she tries to get out of the house, a dove just comes and falls in front of her. Just look at that. Just look at that. Men of God. Of days. As old as you are, as old as you are, just look. Lord, you remain the same. Ancient of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you remain the same. Ancient of days. Needs to help my mama here. She's she's gone for good. Now, uh, yeah, hello. Okay. Now, you have to be sure. Convince yourself that it is done. Your situation is corrected. Do you believe that? Let me see your joy and your praise to Him. Men of God, I was asking her just now, what is happening? And she was surprised, and she was surprised at the place where she slept. She, up to the point that she said, I was asleep. She was surprised by her own sleep, men of God. Mama, you were sleeping? Yes, men of God, I don't know how. I never sleep. You don't know how? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's still there. My God. I've been praying for you while you were sleeping. My daughter, the one that is troubling me and all, so they are using her in the kingdom. <laughs> it's over. It's, it's, it's over. We were praying for your daughter. You were sleeping. <laughs> Bring them. So what we'll do now, we are trying to open up a platform which if you need guidance in any area, maybe in ministry, you want advice. Even if you want me to be your friend, that's okay. I can still help you as a friend. Mm -hmm. So that platform is being opened up for men of God that really want to excel in ministry. So we'll be talking about all that. I want to work with men of God. I love men of God. We want people that would come to any of our meetings and take everything that we are doing to another different location. That's what I want to see happening. It has to spread. People should not struggle to drive for kilometers to go and see one man of God in a particular area. No, you should go to the closest man of God and you can get your miracle right there. That's what I believe. That's what I believe. Our God is so rich. He is so rich. Man of God, please allow me to just say this. This gentleman here says, I want to say something to the man of God. Something is happening to me. Please tell the man of God what you are feeling now. Man of God, I'm feeling the strength now. My body is also light wherever I'm still swollen, but my body, my feet, everything, I feel light. And my chest, I also feel light. Man of God, what he's literally saying, it's all the pain that he was feeling before. It's all gone. Help me celebrate Jesus in this place. 
looking at all that has taken place, all you can say is thank you, Jesus. It is in this season where we are experiencing great exploits, just as our Lord Jesus said. Within an instant, life-threatening situations have been dissolved and destinies have been rearranged. With Jesus as the solution, that which was impossible has been made possible. The human mind can never comprehend with what God is doing in this season. It is truly a privilege and an honor to be able to witness such grace and such a display of power that God is working through His servant, Prophet Emmanuel Makandiwa. To God be the glory.